What's going on guys, so in the game here with another episode of Pokemon Black 2. In the last episode, we went into the Castalia sewers and defeated Team Plasma there. We met someone, we have no idea who they were. They just talked a bunch of crap and, and left, but we're here. And we're ready to challenge the gym now. Um, I don't know if we're ready. We are. We got stronger, but we're probably a little less, we're, we're probably a little under leveled is what I'm guessing. But you know what, we have the type advantage. We're going to take care of them. Let's do this. If we can find the gym, too. I'm not quite sure where it is. It's actually right here. Never mind. We were right. All set. I'm a great person now. Whatever. Who cares? Hey, what's going on, dude? Do, will you give us fresh water? Hello. You're probably tired from wandering all over the crowded streets of Castalia City looking for Team Plasma and Jin the gym leader. So here, I'll give you this. And we get a fresh water, as always. Still gray. All right. That's annoying. The theme of this gym is none other than cocoons. You head upstairs by going inside the cocoons and traveling up the threads. The threads are definitely connected to Berg, eventually. Okay, so we have these cocoons here. We have a cutoff area here. There's someone hiding in that corner there. I'm trying to act like I don't see them or anything. Definitely see them, still gray. Um, and yeah, let's go into here first. We have, um, oh no. We have Reju in front, so she'll be carrying us through the first little part of this. We're not going to go. That'll take us straight back down, so we went the right way. Is this a Harlequin here that we see? Looks like it is. What do you think? This Pokemon gym, how should I say it? Isn't it full of outrageous and mysterious charms? I suppose so, if you like spider webs and, and a whole bunch of silk string everywhere. That's, sure. And we're challenged by Harlequin Clarence. Ooh, nice. Okay, distracted. All right, but we're back. And wing attack. I mean, what else are we going to do? We're going to be raining down wing attacks all the live long day until we get our badge. We get hit with this razor leaf. It's quad resisted, so shouldn't do much of anything. Still did five because, you know, that's just how it goes. We got a little bit of health back with the, uh, the black sludge, and let's finish him off. And we get 230 experience. Dalton gets 218. We did take that off of ace so he can have his charcoal so he's our backup here uh, we have another sea waddle we're gonna stay in and wing attack bring it on so close to the one shot and we're good that's all she wrote All right. We should hit 17 here from this. We get 230 experience. Awesome. Level 17. Any new moves? No new moves. Dalton gets 218 experience. We defeated Harlequin Clarence. You've got quite a charm and all that stuff. 640 Poke Dollars. Why does the text move so fast at the end of the battles there? We're not able to read it. Um, now, this that will take us down. So will that. That looks like it will take us up. It actually doesn't show where it goes. Um, we're going to leave that alone. Yeah, we're going to leave that alone for now. Actually, I, I see where it goes. I think. Let's check it out. I'm curious. Actually, wait, no, that's where we came from. Dummy, 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 dummy. It's cool. Excuse me? Oh, okay. So we're good. And what? Oh, okay. Okay. When the cocoon breaks open, the one that pops out is moi. Weird. On that note, have a battle with moi. Right now. And we have Harlequin Jack with two Pokemon. And we have a combi. Okay. It's a shame we don't have any rock moves because that would just reign supreme here. But we're just going to have to uh, keep throwing out wing attack and just deal with that. I mean, it's good enough. So close. I think if we get to level 18, we'll start getting those one shots off. But as long as we have the Black Sludge, we don't have to worry about losing too much health here. And luckily, every, we're, we're, we quad resist almost everything. Alright, we get 172 experience. Dalton gets 172 as well. Dalton hits 18, so we'll be switching 
uh, that experience share out. And the Swad Loon, we're going to stay in. Run it back. Good stuff. Get hit with Razor Leaf. Still got that quad resistance, so no worries. Still does a little too much for my liking for having that much, you know, damage reduction on there. And nice. What do we got? 466 experience. So much. 442 for Dalton. Crazy. That's right. I was taking a nap inside the cocoon. It was 640 Poké Dollars for winning. Talk about sleeping on the job and admitting it. Hiding makes battle instincts dull, you know? Sure. Okay. So actually, you know what? Um, yeah, you, yeah, let's move this over to Purdy. I'm trying to keep the, uh, the experience share on Pokemon we really, don't, really won't be using in the gym, especially just for, for here. Um, well, we're actually going to keep, let's give him the quick claw back. Yeah. Let's switch that out. And we're also going to throw one potion onto, where are we going? We'll get there eventually. Yeah, let's throw a potion on Reiju as well. Just to get her back up to speed. And into the cocoon we go. Nice. And we have this Harlequin just hiding out right here, but it's not going to you know, hide for long. You thought you could get through here? Think again. Or so you thought. I'm just blocking your way. Obviously. Bring it on, man. We're not afraid of you. We have Harlequin Gary with three Pokemon. Gary! 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 I'll never hear Gary without thinking of Fallout 3 in that one, uh, the one vault with all the Garys inside of it. Wing attack, forever. Furlo, we could have used, uh, Venishock as well. But he's a physical attacker. At least he becomes a physical attacker. But let's see what it does, even though they have, like, three HP left. Just to, just to hit it. And we get level 18. Awesome. Purdy is 196 experience. We have a Dwebble as well. We can switch out for that since it is part rock. And uh, let's go to... Who are we going to deal with here? Let's actually throw out Shelly to deal with that rock type. That works. And we're going to have Shelly use Razor Shell. Obviously. And we karate them. Excellent. Dwibble, sand attack. We're going to eat that, though. We're good. And please don't fail me now. Take me to the finish line. What will Rock Smash do? It should do normal damage with because of the bug type, so should be good there. And we get 206 experience. Purdy gets 206 as well. We have a combi, so let's go back to Ace here since Reiju hit level 18. Still gray. And <laughs> my annoyance with that, I'm just going to be yelling at every once in a while. See if I can... Uh, uh, no, not not quite. Flame wheel. Pain in my butt. All right. You're going down, combi. Good stuff. Flame wheel, that physical attack right in our alley. So much more damage than Ember was doing. We 156 experience. Purdy gets 155. Purdy is level 18. And that's game, yeah. My, my, are you a bit too strong? I mean, that's the whole point, right? We have 608 Poké Dollars for winning. Let's keep going. Let's just keep going. And we're back. I assume that one can take us up. But let's see what this Harlequin's all about first. We're going to be throwing Ace out in the front. So let's get that ready. And yeah. You're just one step away from being able to challenge Berg. But before that, I have to try and stop you. These guys, I don't know if it's because they're Harlequins or what. They don't seem very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Competent. We have 
Harlequin Anders of two Pokemon, and he starts off with a Dwibble, which actually puts us in a little bit of a problem here, because we could get hit by something like a like a, a Rock Throw would hurt a good bit. Now, Dwibble sucks as a Pokemon, but still, a super effective hit is a super effective hit. So we are actually going to use Flame Wheel, see if we can just win right off the bat with one strong shot. It'll just do normal damage, though. Yeah, not enough. We're going to hit with Smackdown. That's going to do some damage to us, and um, we're going to get out of there. Shelly, save us. Still gray. Still gray. Still gray. I'm a gray man now. Uh, smack down again. We should have some resistance against that. And yeah, razor shell. Good stuff. All right, just barely survives. Let's just finish it off, finish it off with rock smash. How is it faster than this? Like, I understand, did it, has it used rock polish once before? Because if it hasn't, there's no way it's faster. It's the only explanation I have. Well, that's one down. We have 114 experience. Ace gets 114 as well. Purdy gets 216. And we have a Swadloon. We're going to get out of there. Um, let's go back over to Ace. Even though Ace is hurting a little bit, but there's nothing that uh, we should be able to get hit by here that will take us down. And Intimidate, okay. Now, luckily for us, Swadloon's bug and grass, so yeah, it should protect itself. For sure. That quad damage. It's like a base 240 with the stab on top, takes it up to what? 240, 120, 360 with the 20% on top from the charcoal. That's a lot of base damage, just for not even a strong move. We at level 18. Uh, Purdy gets 442 experience and prize it in level as well. Your battling style is almost as artistic as Bird's. So we get 640 Poké Dollars for winning. It just goes on and on and on. There's no time to stop for the text or anything. It literally just uh, keeps raining down on us. We're going to throw some potions on these guys just to have them ready since apparently we have Berg next. And we don't want to get caught sleeping, of course. Get you back up and get you to full as well. And uh, yeah, let's go for it. I don't know which one to go into. There's there's some options here. Let's go up first, I guess. Let's see how this see this where where this takes us. Okay, so they got jokes. Apparently they got jokes. They got jokes for days. I'm not laughing at all. <laughs> Psych. But we're here. I said I'm not gonna laugh, now I immediately laugh. And he really does just paint all day. We have paint everywhere, and uh, we have two holes. Hello, sir. Good work back there in the sewers. My Bug-type Pokemon have been scurrying with excitement about getting to battle you. I'd say my Bug-type Pokemon are pretty great. Come on, let's... Come on, let me brag a, a little. Dwebble's round little eyes are cute. It's resilient and reliable. My name is... My ace is Levani. It's really the best. I think it's so sweet how it makes clothes for other Pokemon out of leaves. Of course, I'm really proud of all my Pokemon. Well, now, let's get right to it. You're going down, sir. Bring it on, man. And we have Burr with the most luxurious bowl cut of all time or whatever it is. I have no idea what this haircut is, but yeah, I, I don't know. He's, he's done now. <laughs> he's, <laughs> I don't have the words for his animation. It's just goofy to me. Let's, let's do this. And flame wheel. Can we get the one shot? I like to think, I like to think that we can. So close. And, okay. Lights, please, time to show you what bug-type Pokemon are made of. Well, looks like they're made to faint, because, um, he's using a Hyper Potion. Why? I just don't understand this. Like, seriously, you see how the... <laughs> I can't. It's just a waste. It's just a waste of a move. It all, it's all it is. We're gonna get hit with this Razor Leaf. It's really all it's done. Now, if we get a crazy crit here, but they didn't, so... It's like, it's like we never, it's like we never left. We were, we've been here already. And we get 533 experience. Purdy gets 531. Purdy gets 19. That was no way he wasn't going to. Um, and we have a Dwebble. So let's go out to Shelly here. Just to have that water type. Because apparently we don't really have anything that can counter the rock. I mean, we have steel. But that's not really something that we can utilize yet. Really in its entirety. We don't have any moves for that. Not yet, anyway. But, uh, yeah. Razor Shell, for sure. Bring it on. We get Smackdown. This really shouldn't do a lot. Yeah. 
those eyes are not cute by the way it's the whole thing i was it was the only thing i was looking at just gross um what are we looking at here not bad and we're good we're good we had 275 experience we hit level 18 good stuff Purdy gets 247 more and we have Lavani to finish it off let's go back to ace here now Lavani will be taking times four damage from fire and flying so we really have nothing to worry about it's all about can ace survive this whole fight um i doubt we'll be able to get the one shot here now he's kind of a glass cannon but we are six levels lower somehow mm, i got a bad feeling about this can i be in trouble yeah yeah you're in trouble man knowing us we'll probably barely get him all the way down and yeah yeah it is beat the bricks off of somehow some overpowered move i'm surprised they didn't use something crazy like sword stands or whatever i don't know its move set but so far so good citrus berry let's keep it going it's faster hopefully we don't get a crit or anything yeah that was that was close can we end it here and we're good we're clean we're clean we're hurting a little bit but we're clean we get 1045 experience it's definitely a level level 19 amazing What's we learn reversal? Okay. Now we really don't need a fighting type move. The only time we really need that for is um, rock types. And we already have rock smash. While reversal is better, it is also just a counter. And it could be a waste of a turn. So we're actually not going to learn it. Keep old moves. Give up on reversal. Okay. We get 996 experience. Purdy is level 20. It sucks that we're leveling up Purdy this much. Probably just to put him in the bank eventually. But that's cool. Hmm, it's over. You're incredible. We get 2880 Poke Dollars for winning. And uh, yeah, we have our bug badge, maybe. Oh, -ho, you are very strong indeed. I guess it's no surprise I lost. Here, take this insect badge. I think it will suit you. And we get our third badge. Just like that, guys. Well done. I'm proud of the Pokemon. They did good. They did very well. Let's get that in there. All right. Now, see, that badge looks like a lightning bolt next. So I'm going to prepare for a lightning type team. We have received the insect badge. Oh, the insect badge should do even better than I thought it would. If you have three badges, Pokemon up to level 40 will obey you, including traded Pokemon. And uh, you know what? I'll also give you this. And we get Struggle Bug, which is a really good special attack uh, bug move. It does, it does a good bit for base. Struggle Bug also lowers the special attack of the target that was damaged. I'm the best guy to tell you this. It's the little things that count. All right. Yeah. Now, can we just jump down this hole? What happens here? What's this? Perfect. And it takes us right back down. Could have seen that coming from a mile away. I mean, obviously we did. We caught it. Well, let's get back to the Pokemon Center and call it. We're still gray, though, but you know what? We're, we're, we might be gray, but we're winners, guys. We might be gray, but we are winners. I'm going to solve that. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't care if to buy all the lights in the freaking world to get this thing right, but it's so gray. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Let's heal up. Mm. all right we hope to see you again but guys that's an episode if you did enjoy leave a like also if you're watching us on twitch hit that follow button and then go over to youtube page and hit that subscribe button ring the bell and join the squad so you get notifications for when we drop videos make sure you comment down below on the video what happened did you enjoy the the the, the battle against the gym the gym leader or whatever his name is berg all that stuff if there's any games you'd like me to play, that's the place where you gotta tell me. Anything pertaining to the game, that's the place you gotta tell me. Comment down below, share on all social media platforms. The next episode, we're gonna head towards the next city. We don't know the name yet, uh, I don't remember, um, but we're gonna go there. Until then, this is Stone the Gamer signing off. Hopefully, I'm not gray in the next episode, but I hope everyone has a great rest of the day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.